Hey Leo, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. It's been a minute, but I am a, I am refreshed and ready. I've been on a little bit of a sabbatical, but I am on fire and I am ready to pick it up and go forward. So Leo, this is a reading for the last couple of weeks of August. The um, resonation of this reading is from when it tingles for you until when it doesn't, right? You could find yourself anywhere in this reading. Maybe this hasn't even happened for you yet. Maybe you're midway through. Maybe this has already happened for you. But nevertheless, the every card in this reading is a physical, emotional, or mental process. However long it takes you or anybody else involved in this reading to process each and every one of these cards is how long this reading is going to, to resonate, right? So it's totally individual and it depends on your own journey. Like I always say, Leo, do not make a life-altering decision based on a general tarot card reading, mine or anybody else's, because it's not for you. It's general for the collective of Leo. If you would like a personal reading, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you need to make a life decision based on the information that you get from this reading, the price of a tarot card reading is worth its weight in gold, whether it's from me or anybody else, okay? So definitely seek some clarification if you need clarification. All right, Leo, here we go. So, well, uh, first of all, I'm going to read this reading and then I'm going to tell you how it resonates with me personally, okay? And I also want to point out that I'm using the same deck in duplicity, okay? This is my old Tarot Illuminati. This is my brand new Tarot Illuminati. The root foundation cards of this reading are with the good old tried and true Tarot Illuminati and the clarifying cards are with the new Tarot Illuminati. So you may see duplicating cards that look like they come from the same deck and, and they do, but they're just different decks, okay? Just wanted to clarify that so it doesn't cause any confusion. Okay, so open this reading with the Nine of Swords, right? Some kind of mental anxiety, just mental anxiety, thinking, overthinking, and thinking again. It's intense anxiety. But I want to point out that the number nine is about fruition, attainment, conclusion and fulfillment. So as painful as the Nine of Swords may momentarily be, in reality, this is where we get shit done in our mind, okay? Staying up at night, thinking about things. This is how us human beings process massive, massive change or massive situations in our life, okay? Oh, this channel is R-rated, so if you're offended by anything that may be R-rated or maybe even a little bit more than R-rated, this is fair warning right now, okay? So massive anxiety, right? Massive anxiety because of an, an impending tower moment. This is unique because you know this tower moment is coming. You know that there's going to be chaos, upheaval, massive change in your life, okay? In this Nine of Swords, like I said, you're coming to some absolute mental clarity. You're clearing your mind, you're getting a handle on things, and you're bringing the anxiety that you feel about this impending tower moment to a conclusion, okay? Five of Wands comes in and talks about um, strife, tension, conflict, right? Which is why you're in the Nine of Swords right there. Two of Pentacles tells me that you are trying to balance your emotions. You're trying to balance your emotions and prioritize some kind of massive commitment with the Hierophant in your life. Some kind of massive commitment. The King of Wands, seeing as how this is a Leo reading, is representing you, Leo. It's representing you trying to be um, in control of your emotions in control of the situation. And this tells me also that there is a bit of passion and excitement involved in this situation, yet, yet there's a lot of apprehension and anxiety as well. The King of Wands, you know, when, when they are 
In reverse, it's about high expectations. And I think that's what this tower moment is for you, Leo. There's some kind of impending, impending change in your life where you are going to have to step up your game. Okay? You're going to have to step up your game and it all revolves around some kind of very, very life altering commitment. So you come out of this nine of swords energy, right? With the, with the desire to take inspired action, with the exception that there is going to be an inspired creation in your life to the 10 of wands. It has been a burden and a struggle for you. It has been. But there is accomplishment in this card because in the Nine of Swords energy where you came to the mental clarity about how you're going to go forward in this situation, there is accomplishment, fruition, attainment. The Emperor tells me that this whole situation has to do with the establishment and the structure of your life. This card is also about fatherhood, okay? The emperor is a father figure. The princess of pentacles comes in and talks to us about the manifestation of something new in your life. The manifestation of something new that leaves you with feelings of the five of cups, right? It's feelings of, of despair, right? feelings of despair. But this card also tells me that you are going to move on from those feelings of despair because you've come to terms with everything in the nine of swords. Look, the nine of swords, nine of swords, nine of swords. You've come to terms with things in the nine of swords. The six of pentacles tells me that whatever this situation is for you is going to change the dynamics of your daily life. Ace of Swords again comes in and says absolute mental clarity, absolute mental clarity that this situation is going to bring you the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. It is the beginning of a new life cycle. The way your life was is going to end. The establishment and the structure of life as you knew it is ending and a brand new cycle is starting. And that, my friend, is the tower moment, the impending tower moment that has you in the Nine of Swords energy. The realization, the acceptance that your life is going to change. To the lover's card, this change, this cycle change is going to bring into your life some kind of impact important relationship, a super important relationship. Okay. It's about a, an approaching connection. It's about union. It's about becoming conscious through a relationship. And that's what's happening here is that this, this change, this upheaval in the way that life is now and is about to change in the near future is going to bring you into union in a relationship that is um, the be all to end all in regards to love. Okay. The wheel says that this is absolutely a major turning point in your life to the princess of pentacles again. This is the same princess of pentacles that's right here, okay? This princess of pentacles is about, um, it's about manifestation of something new in your life, but it's also about a little bit of emotional immaturity in that I think, Feel like you don't feel like you are ready for this massive change, yet you are very much anticipating this change. Strange, right? To the chariot, 
action forward, momentum, there's no stopping it. There's nothing you can do that's going to stop this change. And those are that's that's the realization that you came to with the Nine of Swords, that you're going to have to buck up and embrace this change, right? To the Seven of Swords. There you go. Breaking free of mental challenges. Seven of Wands. Challenges, right? The devil comes in and says that you are releasing limiting beliefs, beliefs that this upheaval, this chaos, this massive change in your life is going to, is going to, is going to be more stressful than it is rewarding. Okay, and I think that's what you're feeling in this Nine of Swords, that this massive upheaval of your life is going to be more stressful than it is going to be rewarding. But you're coming to terms with that, with this devil energy, right? This devil energy and attachment that's a restriction to your personal growth. What's the attachment? The attachment is the mindset that triggers the Nine of Swords. The, real, the, the, the releasing of those limiting beliefs that that this is going to be a restriction on your life and embracing the fact that this is going to be a beautiful thing in your life. And there you are in the Four of Cups doing exactly what I just said. The Ace of Wands says that you're going to take absolute inspired actions to the Two of Swords to deal with your blocked emotions, right? massive change to deal with the emotions that you are in conflict with inside. This, this inspired action in your life to deal with this whole situation brings you to the conclusion that this whole thing is, is, is going to bring you wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, despite the complete upheaval that it's going to create in your life. To the two of cups, again, an absolute love relationship. Okay. And the sun card comes in and says that this is going to bring happiness, vitality, and success into your life. The card of Leo, by the way. This is really an amazing reading here, Leo, and I'm going to share a secret with you. My brother is a Leo, and my brother is expecting a new baby next week. Just to give you an idea of what this could possibly be in somebody's life, right? Now, if it resonates with you, it resonates in what it is for your life. It could be a job change. It could be a house change, could be a relationship change. It could be a change of any kind for you. But my brother, who is a Leo, is having a little Leo baby on the 21st of August. And this is how this reading resonates for him. So put it where it goes for you. And um, I do hope that it helped bring you some clarity and some confirmation of perhaps your own intuition. Leo, embrace this change, whatever this is for you, embrace this change because it's beautiful and it's going to bring relationships into your life that are, that are soulmate relationships. Right on, Leo. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Namaste.